We are a Swartwood Swartwood family! Are you guys real Swartwood students? Hell yeah! Hi guys, we had a quick request. Um, one was about this identity, right? If you want to sum a bunch of numbers. Right? What's the sum formula for that? OK, it's a very famous thing, right? It's been around. Gauss apparently, I think it was like eight or something. He figured this out. So I think the story is something like he was in third grade. Uh, they were sitting around. The teacher basically sat there and said, you know what? I need, I got to do stuff. So I'm going to let these kids add up numbers from one to 100. OK, that should keep them busy. So apparently, baby Gauss, right? He sat there and went, why do I have to do this? According to him, it was obvious that one in 100 adds up to 101. And then he said, well, you know what? If you go up one and you go down one, the sum is still the same. Okay. Then he realized, well, you got 50 pairs of these. So then he thought, OK, the sum must be 50-50. And the story is he walks up, you know, takes, writes it on his little chalkboard, tosses it on the teacher's desk and says, OK. So all good, I guess, right? OK. But so we're going to do that, that idea. So it's basically his idea. And we're just getting a little practice of this. And it's a common idea, like if you have some sum, a finite sum, right? You can manipulate that sum in different ways to get a nice, pretty formula for it. Here it's difficult because these guys are all increasing by one. And you can think of different ways to do that. Uh, you can visualize it as dots, things like that. There are a lot of like, neat ways of seeing it. But I think um, maybe one cheesy way to practice is exactly what Gauss said. These two guys and those guys, they would all add up to the same sum, right? So I think what I want to do is maybe write it backwards. So this is n, n minus 1, plus n minus 2, plus 1. And do you agree it's the same sum? We just went from 1 up to n, and now we're going from 1 up to n, and we just wrote them in a different order. Okay. The nice thing about this, though, is if you add the two of them, of course, n plus 1 is n plus 1, right? And you can see this term, 2 plus n minus 1, well, it's still n plus 1. I mean, this is basically what he did, right? And then you look across at the n, it's still n plus 1. And of course, that's twice your sum. Everybody agree? So now the only thing is le left is mellow. Each, each guy adds up to n plus 1. How many terms do you have? You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, n of them, right? So you have n of these guys. So I guess the total sum has got to be n times n plus 1. That's equal to twice your sum, right? So the sum, of course, has got to be n times n plus 1 over 2. Okay. So here's maybe another way we can do the same thing. So we want to add up different guys, right? Get some sort of sum. Okay. You can maybe visualize it. There's a lot of different ways to experiment and play with this stuff. But let's take a concrete example. Let's say n is equal to 5. Okay? So now we have something that looks like this. So there's 5 right there. Okay? Then if I wanted to add 4, 4 would be like this. That would be the number below him, right? Because it would be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. Then I would have 3, then 2, and then 1. That's not bad. That's actually counting the sum, right? It's not as pretty, though, because if I had something like a square, that would be really pretty. Then it would be easy for me to count, right? Because then you can just do 5 times 5. In fact, let's play, on, play with that. OK, so maybe if we extend it, what's missing in the square? I think we have 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So do you guys agree with this? It looks like if we add this total up, we're going to get something pretty that looks like this. OK. So what does that mean? That means that if we have a sum that equals s, and then we have a sum that's one step back, right, and we add them up, we should get this 5 by 5 grid, which is n squared. So the number of dots here is definitely n squared, right? OK. You have some sum over there, which is so we have a sum s of these guys based on n. Okay. Then you have a sum which is the same sum, right? Minusing what? So you had, we're shy of just one guy here, so minus n. Everybody agree? So does everybody see that? This guy here really is exactly the same sum. You're just missing that row of 5, and that 5 is n. So we're going to do that. So s plus s minus n has got to be n squared. Okay, no big deal. But then this guy is twice the sum minus n is equal to n squared. Now it's just algebra. So we add the both sides. Twice n is equal to n squared plus n divided by 2. You get this guy. If you want it to look familiar, factor out that n. That's n plus 1. So factor that guy out, like we said. It's just a little bit of algebra. Then that turns out to be what? n times n plus 1 over 2. OK, totally another way to see it. 